so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready. Ready. Go. All right, so here we are back in London, England, as the UFC continues to make its presence felt here in the UK and the capacity crowd on hand as usual here tonight. When the UFC expanded, when the UFC started going all around the world and becoming a global sport, London was a target area. England was a target country because you understood how much the fans care about sport. You watch it in the football game. You Ooh. watch it. You hear that? <laughs> oh, you watch it in the way that they show up. The UFC approached this place. The UFC targeted England. We went there, and every time the fans have showed up. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. He passes to half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Now he's got good body position. Yup. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Medoff. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Nicely done to the body. Guess the single collar tie now. Knee strike there, interrupted by Nermago Medoff. Oh, nice. Magomedov's in half court. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the outlet. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. And submission defense wins this transition. Oh, nice and time making. Yeah. Two minutes have gone by. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Oh, nice land there by Nurmagomedov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. That's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Good jab there by the champion. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Massive elbow. Another shot here. All right, so once more, he takes the fight to the ground. That was his game plan, except for Michael Manoff's going for a chip. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, that has got to be it. Oh, Good. somehow he got out. That was beautiful. His hips up in the air, used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Oh, he's got the Kamura position locked in now. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Nermanko Medoff has got full mount now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Nurmago Medov's able to transition back to side control now. Oh, Kimura attack, yup. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. 
All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. Mago Madoff gets the double-leg takedown. Nice job there disguising his entry. Oh, that Dars choke is tight. Oh, he got out again. He got out again. It's unbelievable. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Oh, big punches landing here. We'll see if he can work back to his feet. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's going to be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was always something different, but it always led to his opponent getting great top position. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Making all these shots count. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. But Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Mago Menov gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Romago Metal. Ooh, big shot land. Just missed with that right hand. All right, just like we saw in the previous round, the takedown is there at Will going for a submission. Ooh, that looks tight. Might be the beginning of the end. Favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Under three minutes now to go round two. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Postures up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. He passes the half. Getting the ball here. 
Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meta. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, he escapes. He got it's out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Well, he lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. That's a pretty good jab. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job, very smart fighter we got there. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. He's got the choke in. Towards the opponent, then back in the opposite direction to get his hips, back, and his chest down towards the mat. And you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast. Absolutely tape. did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Gets to the single collar tie. Look for oh. him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. He's getting the better you the strike. I want you to cut those angles and get out of his range. We have to change the game plans. Plan B. Let's get that close to All right, so there is the horn. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you got to give credit to both the offense and the defense. There. Yeah, you got to give credit to both guys, but. Nothing's more beautiful than an extended grappling exchange like we just witnessed. One guy almost submitted, one guy escaping. It's one of the most exciting Ready things you can watch in all Ready. the mixed martial arts. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. So with that, our next round is underway. It looked like maybe we wouldn't get here. There was a close attempt on a submission in the previous round, but the fighter lose to fight another round. It was very, very close. If it's me and I'm his coach, I'm telling you, get right back to it. This time, he will not be able to survive. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. All right, so he lands another takedown here, and he just continues to get his opponent to the ground. His opponent's done a pretty good job getting back to his feet, but can't stop the shot. It'll finally start to exhaust him if he constantly goes up and down, up and down. He's got to split those legs and defend those takedowns before his opponent gets started. Oh, right into mouth. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. That was a slick transition. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John. But ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Lands a jab. He's throwing these punches in combinations, really dictate the pace. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Hard shots landing on both sides here. 
Oh, went to the switch kick there. Nice job by Nermago Meta. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jujitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. That guillotine is tiny. Oh, he's out. And very effective with the ground and pound. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh, he got to a spot. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Under 90 seconds to go. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Nermago Meta. Now he's going full mount. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. And he lands the hook. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Effective punch there by Nermago Meta. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Rips the body there for good measure. Oh, back and forth we go. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Double leg is good. Go Medov's in half guard now. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Final seconds of round three. Side control now. Yeah, he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up. Oh, no, and there's the one at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. It had a little bit of everything and nearly a finish due to a submission. But you see, when you're on the ground with him, you're in danger. Yeah. You're constantly under attack. There is no place to rest. Where you can rest with most guys, you got to be very aware against this guy or he's going to catch you in something that you can't get out of. You ready to fight? Ready. Go fourth ahead. round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Oh, he's doing a real good job of loving to off the strike too. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Collar tie here in the clinch. Jab is on point right now. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, the leg kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing the game. So new round, same narrative as he takes him down again. He does a fantastic job finding the takedown attempt, not wasting the energy. A lot of times people leave it. The takedown's not easy. Don't waste the energy. This guy got it done very easily. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently. Oh, nice.
Nice jab by Nermago Meadow. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Big double leg long change. What a strike from off of his back. Stop. Stop. Work. Right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would always be willing to bet he's going to secure. I'll take your action. Okay. Nurmagomedov gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. The punch got blocked there. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He, man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. Oh, he's got a guillotine here. That guillotine is very tight. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, good ground and pound here. Back to his feet. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counter as we go forward. Right on the button. Oh, well, there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of Ooh, submission attempts and punches tonight. Oh, that bad flu choke is tight. He's out. What submission defense on his play? Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Great timing on that double leg. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. There it is. Now he's running up. He's gotta be careful here. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh my goodness, I think he might have it. How in the world did he escape that submission? Uh, 20 down, five to go. Hey, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. Previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really every time he entered. Yeah, every time he got in on the leg, he was able to secure a finish. And that is the idea you want as a wrestler going into a fight. If you have to change up the technique, it's fine. 
it's not always going to be the very first attack. When it's the first attack, you're very happy. But most times, you've got to chain things together if you want to take down a great fighter. And we know how hard it is to maintain the wrestling, right? The hours required in the gym to make sure that wrestling's still at a high level. He's putting in the time. Yes, he's putting in the time. And also, you see it in his movements. When he gets to an attack, he's constantly shifting positions. He's constantly moving his opponent. He's constantly trying to give him too much information to process. Right. And that comes with a lifetime of wrestling. If he just started this, it would be very difficult. Come on, Kimura now. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. Beautiful transition. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body. He hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Always busy here in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. Straight right hand now, just misses. Blocks the shot. Big shots being landed on both sides here. He's gotta either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. That's how you defend the single leg. Oh, well timed with the knee to the head. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ramago Manoff gets stung by that leg kick. My favorite shot in the game, another leg kick. Oh, rips the body shot there. Another takedown leg. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Khabib's back to the side control now. Neon Billy. He's raining down ground upon. If he doesn't move on the bottom, he's gonna get finished. Looks like the referee could step in here. Oh, for attack. Yup. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Fight IQ on full display there. Recognizing he was losing the sub, elected to keep the dominant position. Oh, nice job working hard, coasting, and getting back up. There's that head kick. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, big punch lands. What a fight! Now a knee. Clifton with the right hand there. And a knee. Nice straight punch there. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice take that. Yep. Now he's back up. Under 20 seconds now to go. Big right hand there. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, beautiful level change. Well, what a title fight it was. What a showcase it was for this division. But at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more and 
You got to think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Mimago Meta. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that over.